Dungura Castle in Kimbara Galway was built in 1520. In 1924, the castle was bought and repaired by Oliver St. John Gogarty, a famous surgeon and literary figure. The castle became a venue for meetings of the literary revivalists such as W.B. Yeats, George Bernard Shaw and Edward Martin. In 1954, the castle was acquired by Christabel Lady Amtel, who completed the restoration. The castle is now the property of Shannon Heritage and is fully restored to show the lifestyle of the people who lived in 1520 up to today. From April to October you can enjoy fabulous entertainment and locally sourced food at the renowned Castle Banquet. Go out. Seal. Seal. Um, so that you not know that. Come on. Let's go. Let's go.
Wat is lekker weer? Gela. Ja. Wat is lekker? Aha. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ah, you went too fast there. Did you enjoy the castle?
my feet into the water. Say hi. No, I'm still eating my tears. I'm gonna eat my feet. You're allowed to dip your feet into the water. Say hi. Hi. What a difference. We're gonna wet it. Ah. Oh my, my feet are sinking. Oh. See this in the camera. Oh my god. Look how Kate just found. Oh my god. I think we should go back up now. What do you think, guys? Should I? Or should I not? We've been now four minutes and 40 seconds. We're we'll waiting for six minutes, yeah? We, we have two more minutes, okay? No, don't touch me. No. Come on, get me! Are you scared, cat? Are you scared, cat? Because if you want a scared, cat, you come over to me now. Oh, damn! Oh no, I need you. I actually know you need to do it. Come on, let's go to the car. Okay, one more minute. Yeah, one more minute, I said, because it was five, four minutes a minute, but that's five. This is so fun. Taiwan House is a ruined manor house built in the 1770s on a promontory by the estuary of the Kilcalgan River. The original owner was Christopher St. George, scion of an old Norman Galwegian family. The St. George family at the time owned much of the area around Kilcalgan. In 1920, the house was destroyed by the local Irish Republican Army unit during the Irish War of Independence due to rumours that it was going to be used by the Black and Tans as an infirmary. The house was uninhabited at the time, except for a bed-bound caretaker who was taken from the house in his bed and left in another building on the premises before the main house was set up. Oh, Taiwan House. So where are we now? Tyrone House. We're in Tyrone House in Kilcoggan. 
Back, back. Careful. Here. Oh, yeah. He knows it's awful. 